Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome in. Welcome to your channeled message reading. This is the Dream Clairvoyant. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. I do hope that you're all doing well, feeling safe and feeling blessed because you are. So for the channeled message reading, absolutely anyone may resonate with this message. But I do ask that you use discernment to take what resonates and leave what does not. And if you believe that this message isn't for you, that's absolutely okay. You're always welcome to watch the other readings here on the channel, okay? So let's get started. Remember that the cards represent energies that any gender can embody unless I specify. So we're going to be using the Kipper deck and then the Modern Witch Tarot deck to clarify it. Holy Spirit, thank you for guiding us. What is the message? Channeled message reading. Channeled message reading. What is the message? Okay. <laughs> you have child. Where is it? As always, when we use the Kipper deck, I love using the booklet that comes with this. It just, it gives us more, um, more information about the card. So this is number 18, child. Okay. So it says, this card may indicate a child or children, your childhood or your inner child. Wow. In many cases, it shows a new beginning. This can be a new project, a new job, or a new love. We all start small. We're all beginner, beginners in this dance of life. So venture a complete restart. The child represents a fresh start, something new, small, cherished, or a literal child. All right, let's look more into this. Clarify number 18, child. You have the three of swords. I feel like someone has a brand new beginning. I feel like someone is like, like the booklet says, someone is venturing out um, into a new beginning. And I actually feel like it's a big step that they're taking. And so I get that this person may even feel very nervous excuse me, this person may feel very nervous. Like whatever this new beginning is, it's something very different and um, something maybe even unfamiliar. So maybe they're going to be new to a certain person, place or thing. Um, it's a big step that they're taking. So I'm trying to put what I'm feeling into words. The Knight of Cups. Yeah, someone's like making an initiative to do something. It's a big step and maybe they've never done something. I feel like they've never done something like this before. That's why they're they're carrying the energy of the child here. It's almost like when you're new to, to something, to some person, place, or thing, you're new. Um, maybe they're even learning something new. Um, it's like a new experience perhaps. Maybe this person's even, even starting over. Clarify number 18, child. They are starting over. Literally, the Ace of Cups represents a new beginning. <laughs> uh, thank you, Holy Spirit, for that confirmation. It Someone's venturing out. Someone's starting a brand new beginning, and it's different. They've never done this before. They could be meeting new people. They could be relocating to a new place they could be um mm, they could be trying something new it's literally like a child because you know children um they have to create their own experiences as well right um so i'm trying to see how how am i trying to put this in the, into words bear with me um this is something that they've never done before there's, there's a level of innocence there. So that's why the, the, they're being represented by number 18, child. But let's move forward. You have the Three of Swords. Three of Swords talks about heartbreak and disappointment. The Knight of Cups is someone who's very inviting, very welcoming, quite charming even. Knight of Cups does carry a friendly energy. Knight of Cups could even represent like an invite somewhere or a romantic gesture. Then you have the Ace of Cups, this new beginning that's going to be very um, emotionally fulfilling. I love the illustration of the Ace of Cups. This is a divine blessing. 
a divine opportunity here that's going to bring great fulfillment. That's why the water's over, overflowing out the cup. Look at the heart. It's beautiful. Clarify the Three of Swords. The Sun. Clarify the Three of Swords. The Four of Cups. Clarify the Three of Swords. The Ten of Swords. Okay. <clears throat> Good. Okay. This is someone who I feel they have overcome some sort of um, past trauma here. The sun, as much as the three of swords is heartbreak and, you know, pain and disappointment here. The sun is healing. It's healing. Excuse me. It's healing. It's enlightenment. It's illumination. It's happiness. It's fulfillment. So I feel like someone here has overcome something that was very painful. Maybe they were neglected, abandoned. Maybe it was a painful breakup. But I feel like they were strong enough, brave enough to overcome this Three of Swords, this heartbreak. The, the Four of Cups. I, I almost feel like I could easily say the Four of Cups, it's dissatisfaction, it's unfulfillment. Um, I feel like this person just sort of wants more for themselves. So they've rejected certain things from their life, from their past. Yeah, this person is the one, don't get me wrong, they could have been rejected, but I feel like once they healed, they did the rejecting. Yeah, they they. it's like they rejected what they thought they once wanted because now they want more for themselves. The Ten of Swords. Once you hit the Ten of Swords, there's just no return to whatever hurts you, whatever puts you, because the Ten of Swords is like a lot of pain, from betrayal and backstabbing and disappointment, feeling completely taken advantage of, you know? So once a person or a situation puts you in this 10 of swords, you know that there's no return, there's no going back. And the only thing that you can do is move forward and reestablish yourself elsewhere. So I feel like that's what this person is, has done, okay? This person has dead a situation from their, from their past. Whether it was a person, place, or thing, they've ended it completely. And I feel like they're starting something new. So that's why they're here, here as a child, because it's a new experience for them. They're going to be learning new things. Like, it's all about the new for this person. So that's why they're here, because they're innocent. They don't know what to expect. Um, you know, it's it makes sense as to why they're represented by this um, no, number 18 child here. It's a new experience for them. That's why. Let's clarify this Knight of Cups. Clarify the Knight of Cups. <clears throat> so like I said, the Knight of Cups, this is someone who's very friendly, very sincere, charming even. Typically the Knight of Cups could even be a heartthrob. <laughs> the person that many people are like, you know, crushing on. Um, typically, the Knight of Cups is seen through uh, rose tinted, rose tinted glasses. Clarify the Knight of Cups. Could even be an invite somewhere. Clarify the Knight of Cups. The Devil. Clarify the Knight of Cups. The Six of Swords. The Wheel of Fortune. Okay. Hmm. This is something. Yeah, this person is about to make an make the initiative to do something or say something. Something that they strongly desire because the devil card is here. So they really want this. They really want to do this. Um Tell us more about this Knight of Cups. The Empress. Okay. Let's clarify the devil. Clarify the devil. The devil represents strong desires, sometimes even obsessions. I just feel like whatever they're about to do is something that they really desire. Mm -hmm. Ace of Wands. It's a passionate new beginning. Yeah. 
So they're, they're making this initiative with a whole lot of passion and determination. Clarify the Six of Swords. Wow. So the Six of Swords is moving things from rough waters to calmer waters. And the Lover's card, it talks about perhaps a choice in love or a choice between two people, two things, or it could talk about a soulmate connection. Hmm. I want to know more. I feel like it's saying that this person is definitely using their free will to move away from something that wasn't serving them well and to choose something that they do believe will, will be fulfilling to them. Um, choose something that they do believe they deserve. This is all from this person's action, male or female. It's all based on their free will. Nobody's forcing them to do this at all. They are truly the driving force uh, behind their decisions in life. Aren't we all, if you really think about it? Life is truly all about the choices that we make, free will, right? Tell us more about um, this lover's card here. Judgment, yeah, it's their choice. The judgment talks about a choice, a decision, a final decision. Yeah, that's our confirmation. So let's move on to the Wheel of Fortune. Clarify the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune talks about the Wheel of Fortune talks about, um, it's it could be a karmic wheel. You either have fortune on your side or you have misfortune. It really just depends on what you did in the past. Most times if it's in the upright like this, it says you have, things will turn or things are turning in your favor. Fortune is yours. So let's look at this Wheel of Fortune. <clears throat> Clarify the will of fortune. Clarify the will of fortune. Clarify the will of fortune. Okay. Hmm. Wondering how we should take this. Ten of wands. I feel what I'm hearing from the will of fortune is things will go. If you are this person who's taking a leap of faith into a new beginning, you're starting something completely new. Maybe you're even starting over in life. You have the will of fortune here. The universe is on your side. Things will turn in your favor. Just because, you, because you've made this decision to move forward, it's bringing in great fortune for you in the first place, right? Like I said, you are the driving force behind your life. You're using free will to do something that you strongly desire. So the will is turning now, okay? Things are moving forward for you for the better, and what I heard is that the message that I got from the Wheel of Fortune, things are going to go more smoothly this time around in this new beginning. It's not going to feel burdensome like the past because the Ten of Wands, it's worries, it's stress, it's past baggage, it's burdens. Things will move forward. It will. Things will move forward and it's not going to be as hard. It's not going to be as stressful as the past. And it's because you chose to, to move things forward for yourself and not stay in that unfulfilling you know, circumstance that you were in from the past. So you can expect something different this time around, something positively different. It's going to be, I keep on hearing peaceful, peaceful and refreshing. This is a brand new energy that you're stepping into. So you can truly trust that the past is staying in the past, okay? Clarify the Wheel of Fortune. Literally the death card almost came out. The past is surely staying in the past and it's because you chose to end things. The death talks about major endings that leads to transformations. It's like you are truly embodying the energy of the magician here. You know, you're manifesting all that you desire and leaving behind all that was unfulfilling for you. Clarify the rule of fortune. Clarify the rule of fortune. Let me see. The page of cups. Yeah. I wonder, has something or someone... I feel like someone has striked your 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 interest i don't know because the page of cups is typically someone who's interested in something or someone that's why sometimes the page of cups could represent an admirer but pages are all about news messages communication 
clarify this page of cups. Let me see. You're definitely moving towards something that you strongly desire and, and something that you are really interested in. Clarify the page of cups. The queen of wands. Wow. Mm. This is, these are all of your energies. Two of swords. Clarify this queen of wands. I feel like the queen of wands is your energy, regardless of your gender. Yeah, these are all your energies. So the queen of wands is very energetic, optimistic. Um, whatever this is that you're interested in, that you're, I don't know if you're going to be relaying news to someone or giving a message to someone or initiating a conversation with someone. But I do feel like it's something or someone that you're really interested in. And I see you in this Queen of Wands energy. First of all, the Queen of Wands is very attractive, by the way. Um, very attractive, very beautiful or handsome, exudes great power and, and confidence. Look at how they're sitting on their throne confidently with her legs crossed. So I do feel like you're going to be approaching this person very confidently, which is good. Um, you're here as a queen of pentacles. You're very impressive. I don't know if you're aware, but I can see from your energy, you're very impressive. The queen of pentacles is someone who's very stable, very secure, very successful, loyal, and doesn't play about commitments, right? If there's one person in the deck who's going to commit, it's really a queen of pentacles, king of pentacles type of energy. I feel like you have it going very well for yourself. I feel like you're very confident in yourself. You're very energetic. You're very optimistic. You're very attractive. And you exude so much power and, and, and confidence. Um, there's something about you that's very ethereal. <laughs> like ethereal like there's something about you that i feel like you can really male or female i feel like you can really starstruck someone like when someone sees you they're like who is that like who is that guy or who is that man or who is that girl who is that woman like you're beautiful there's something about you that's very beautiful and ethereal um wow there's something about your energy too where I feel like you're very calm and peaceful. You're very secure in yourself. You're very stable. You know who you are. You know your worth, you know. Um, but I don't, you're not loud. You're not obnoxious. I don't really get, I know you're a queen of wands, so you may have a fiery side to you, but it's not in a loud or obnoxious way. You exude it through your you're, you're so poised, like it's something about you where you're so confident in yourself. And I feel like that's why you're so balanced and stable and calm. Um, you don't have to do too much for people to know that you're powerful. You know, they can just see it right through you in the way that you carry yourself. I also feel like you're very happy with yourself. You're very content. You carry a very beautiful energy, whether you are a male who's carrying these energies or a female, your energy is beautiful. Like it can, it's, I keep on getting that word ethereal. There's something about you. Wow. You're even here as an empress. So the empress. Hmm. The Empress is known, when a person carries the Empress energy, it's it's quite fascinating because the Empress is the most powerful feminine energy in the deck. And you can carry this regardless of your gender, male or female. Um, but the Empress is the most beautiful, very loving, very kind, very nurturing, very intuitive and empathetic and the Empress is also someone who's very creative and artistic. The Empress gives birth to creations. And this is someone who has the blessing of fertility. So when you have the blessing of fertility, you can truly produce the life uh, that you want for yourself. 
And so that's why the Empress is known to be very abundant and you most likely are very abundant. I'm sure you have many things in life that, that you want. Um, and that's just because you're very fertile, right? So the things that you desire, the things that you create, you really end up manifesting it in real life. Let's look at this. Um, let's look at this Ace of Cups. Another way that I can see this Knight of Cups is you're inviting something or someone new in your life. You're either moving forward into something new or a new person, place, or thing, or you're inviting someone new into your life to come towards you. You're either going towards something new or you're inviting and welcoming some, something or someone to go towards you. Because the Knight of Cups does carry that, um, it does carry that very welcoming energy. The Knight of Cups is a very inviting individual. Let's look at the Ace of Cups. Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords. Clarify the Ace of Cups. 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 Knight of Wands. This Ace of Cups, it's a brand new beginning and it's coming out of the helping hands of the Most High. So it's going to be very fulfilling, okay? Um, you even got the Ace of Wands earlier. It's also going to be a passionate new beginning. There's something that you're doing here. Let me see. <laughs> Death. Hold on, clarify the, clarify the Seven of Swords. Okay, the Queen of Cups also came out, it just fell on my lap. But the Six of Pentacles, Temperance, and the Queen of Cups. Why do I feel like there is a person that you're interested in? Let me see, clarify the Seven of Swords. This person came into your life out of nowhere. Okay, so this is them. So this is their energy. This is someone new who has brought, I'm talking huge, immense emotional fulfillment for you. Even if you haven't asked this person out, even if you haven't invited them or welcomed them in your life, I feel like you've been, excuse me, I feel like you've been like checking them out and looking into them because you see them as your ace of cups. They have fulfilled you in, in a very deep and emotional way. Maybe you feel this bond very strongly. Let me tell you about this person. This is their energy. You see them as your ace of cups, okay? You see them as emotional fulfillment. You see them as a brand new beginning. But this person has a story. They have, they, there's something from their background here, okay? I feel like this is someone who had no choice but to leave the past behind. Very similar to you because I saw how you were in that 10 of swords where it was like, I'm hurt, I've been taken advantage of. I can't even get up. I have no choice but to start something else somewhere else, right? Similar to this person too. You guys have a lot in common. I know you see them as your new beginning, someone who will definitely be emotionally fulfilling um, to you, but I want you to understand this person. I feel like number one, they went through a tower moment in their past. Something came crashing down. Something ended. And... Um, it caused them to move away from this tower. It caused them to start a new beginning, right? To move away completely. Because with this tower, I feel like maybe some secrets came out. 
um, maybe some false people in their life came out, it was like this person had a revelation about their life and there was a big reveal about certain things that were kept hidden from them. And so what did they do? I feel like this person is also very intuitive. They are a queen of cups. Queen of cups is like psychic. So I feel like they had, they listened to what the divine was revealing to them. There was a tower here. Certain people, places, and things got exposed. They were doing certain things in the dark to this innocent person. The queen of cups is the sweetheart of the deck. Who would do this to someone? But yeah, I feel like there was a lot of foul play you know, and just sneaky behavior. And it was revealed to this queen of cups, male or female. And one thing I noticed about this person, like I said, they're very intuitive. So when this was revealed to them, they didn't sit, they didn't, they didn't ignore their intuition or turn a blind eye. What they did was they moved forward. They said, okay, I'm listening to spirit. I'm listening to the divine and I'm going to end this. So something, what I see here is something got revealed to this queen of cups and they chose to end it. They chose to put an end to the trickery, the sneaky plays, the lies. When they got, when when whatever this the secret, there's some sort of secret, some sort of whatever this is, false people, liars, manipulation, whatever this is, when it got revealed, they took action and they said, I'm done. So they could have ended a relationship, ended a friendship, ended a situation, because look, the death. So they put an end to this tower. They walked away. This person, though, they don't settle is one thing I see about them. They don't settle because they're here as the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands is someone who is on a passionate pursuit. They, the Knight of Wands will, will think, get an idea, and then he pursues, he or she pursues that idea, right? They take action. So it's almost like this person was like, okay, next. Like not to say that they weren't hurt, but trust and believe they didn't sit there, you know, crying for a long time. I'm sure this person got upset. Even here, the five of cups, regrets, crying over spilled milk, right? They definitely found out something. A truth was revealed to them about certain people, places, and things in their life. They grieved. The death card is here right? They put an end to those people, places, and things, but then they, they push forward onto the next. That's who the Knight of Wands is. The Knight of Wands is very passionate, very determined. Um, they may have even moved somewhere. The Knight of Wands, it could talk about someone who's fleeing, like a lover that's fleeing. Um, it could talk about someone who's like immigrating, relocating, but this person ended something and I feel like they physically moved away from it as well. That is why they're carrying a Seven of Swords energy. This person is not carrying a Seven of Swords energy because they are a bad person. Um, yes, the Seven of Swords could represent someone who's being sneaky, lying, cheating, manipulating, with, or withholding information. And I feel like that's what it is. This person found out a truth. They ended it. They ended something here in their life. And I feel like they literally got up and moved away from it. Like physically, they ended something and then they physically moved away from it. That's how they were so over it. They were so done with it. So you don't have to worry of if this person is still connected to someone from their past. Trust me, you have the tower, a big breakup, a big ending, and death, and the Nine of Wands. Trust me, this person, they flee. Like the Knight of Wands could even represent a lover that is fleeing. So they definitely fled from somewhere. That's why they're carrying the Seven of Swords energy. Because it's not that this person's a liar, a cheater or anything. It's because they're, they're withholding information about their past. And it's because I'm hearing, I feel like this person, and they're, whoever this person is, their energy is very calm like you, like yours as well. So I'm sure the more you get to know them, they will, they will feel comfortable to talk about their past. They're withholding information about their past because this person wants to start over is what it feels like. And they don't want their past to come and find them. They don't want their past to come, you know, to come into their new beginning and ruin things for them. That's why I feel like they're with they're keeping certain information, information to themselves. 
so much to the point where, and another thing that I'm hearing, wow. Whoever they fled from is still holding on to them. Sometimes when you sneak away from a relationship and you don't tell the person or you're hiding things, like another way as a reader that I see the Seven of Swords is if you're trying to move on and someone is still holding on to you romantically, you end up looking very sneaky or they may suspect the person who's still holding on to you, they may suspect that you're cheating because in, to them, in their mind, you guys are still together or you guys will eventually be together. So you moving forward, you kind of carry that sneaky energy. I feel like this, this person here, maybe they know that there's someone from their past that's still holding on to them, but they just want to move away from it. Um, that's why the Seven of Cups uh, came out. The Seven of Cups talks about weighing your options or looking at the other options that you have. That's what I almost feel like this person moved away from someone who's still holding on to them. And that's why it, it's like they had to physically move away because they don't want this person to find them. They don't want this person to come and ruin something new because it looks like this, this Queen of Cups once has started a new beginning completely. Okay. Maybe it doesn't even have to be a love situation. Maybe it was like just maybe this Queen of Cups were just was just involved with really bad people, friends, lovers, relatives, whatever. And they want a clean start, but they don't want those, they don't want to be connected to those people anymore. They don't want to be tied to those people. So what they're doing is they're looking at the other options, right? They're like, I'm not keeping myself bound to the past. I want to start fresh, a clean slate. Let me look at the other options that I have, you know? The other people that I have but I feel like there's some sort of jealous lover from their past it's an energy that I'm picking up because there's a reason why this person snuck away from their past it's, tell me about this past person or people look the two of cups almost came out tell me about this past person or, yeah okay this past person or people here it doesn't even have to be a romantic situation this could have been someone who had to leave behind a toxic family or toxic community or environment or a toxic friend or something like that this person i'm getting an energy of them just wanting to start fresh they don't they just want to start over start fresh and they don't want the past to come and mess up anything new that they've started. Tell me more about this past person or I kind of get like, whoa. Five of Pentacles. I kind of get like an obsessed energy, like obsessive. Tell me more about this past situation. Yeah, I get, okay, this is going to sound so, it makes me uncomfortable even feeling this. Like I'm getting someone who had a person or people, could have been several people who were just like scarily, like obsessed with them, dangerous. There are people who were dangerously obsessed with this Queen of Cups. Dangerously obsessed. And you know, it's not shocking because the Queen of Cups exudes love. The Queen of Cups is a very loving person that everyone loves. So I feel like these people got obsessed with her or him. These people from the past got dangerously obsessed. They were, it's almost like they were competing for this Queen of Cups. Wow. There's an obsession here, you know, and, and it's not the Queen of Cups fault, whether this is a man, a woman, it has nothing to do with genders. I'm trying to emphasize that to you. All these are energies. We all carry both masculine and feminine energies anyways. You see how she has her cup? You see how she has her cup extent, extended? This is a loving person, very caring and compassionate. And people can feel the Queen of Cups love without even being 
um, personally connected to the Queen of Cups. So I, I kind of feel, it's almost like this person's love, the Queen of Cups love got, got some people crazy and obsessed with, with them. Um, the Five of Wands, it could talk about conflict, drama, tension, or competition. It's like they were competing for the Queen of Cups love. This is a very odd, this is odd. I've never seen something like this, like, because I feel like it was several people. That's why the Five of Wands is here. It was several people. This Queen of Wands has an energy where people get clingy and obsessed and people will compete for her love. Male or female. And so she needs to be careful. Like set boundaries with people so that they won't feel like they own her, you know, or they won't feel entitled to her. Something happened here. You saw how the five of pentacles sort of came out like this. Something happened here where these people from her past felt like they had to compete for her because they, they didn't want to be abandoned by her. So this is a queen of cups who loves and nurtures people to the point where they feel entitled to have her love. And so if they feel threatened by another person, they will compete. So these people were fearful of being left out in the cold by this queen of cups. Like, I feel like it was a situation where, let's say this was like a, like a friend or something who truly who loved but in a dangerous way who was dangerously in love with this queen of cups if this queen of cups um you know was interested in someone that jealous friend could have literally tried to compete with the other person because they were they were afraid of getting abandoned it's like it's, there's something addicting there's something addicting about this queen of cups and it's not something that she does it's this is a loving person everyone loves love everyone needs love so when the Queen of Cups loves you, she will pour into you. She will make you feel so good. And that's what gets addicting. She'll give you her undivided attention. She'll be compassionate and loving and kind. Sometimes the Queen of Cups can even be overlooking, right? She may overlook red flags in people because she strives to see the good in people. So when you have someone like that who overpours into you, you get possessive, jealous, territorial, and there is bound to be some sort of conflict and competition. And that's what happened. But what's so dangerous here, I feel like it was several people who were obsessed with this Queen of Cups. Not one, not two, several. And they did this, these friends, family, lovers, whatever, they did this because they were competing and fighting because they didn't want to lose that love and nurture that the Queen of Cups was giving them. That's literally what happened, wow. That's literally what happened. Because they were all fighting, oh my gosh, Spirit, I just heard this so clearly. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Because I feel like someone needs to understand what happened. Like Because it looks like this Queen of Cups literally fled from somewhere because it got too much. And I do feel like if they hadn't fled, I don't like to use the word dangerous. I don't, I don't like for my readings to incite any sort of um, fears in anyone. But if they hadn't left, I do feel like it would have gotten to that point of like, danger like a fatal obsession or fatal attraction or something um they were all fighting what spirit just told me so clearly they were all fighting for a spot in this queen of cups life like people it's like this queen of cups she i feel like this is someone who is just very pure they're very pure and so when you get a taste of that pure love it it may turn some low vibrational people into some crazy obsessive psychopaths you know that's really what it, it, it is feeling like here they were all fighting for a spot in this queen of cups life they did not want to share her at all that's crazy that's crazy that's what you need to know that's what you need to know about this person who you're about to welcome into your life or who you're headed towards. Um, 
as this child here, there's something new that you're trying. That's what happens. Wow. This Queen of Cups is, I mean, maybe you can even feel, because you're, there's two people here, right? There's this Queen of Cups and this Empress energy, who is the child here. Um, you could probably, if you're the other person, I feel like that's why you're so interested in this Queen of Cups. That's why you see them as your Ace of Cups. You see them as your very emotionally fulfilling new beginning because you know this person exudes love. You can feel it. You can feel it strongly. And that's what happened to these people here. They felt it, but they got like crazy obsessed. So it's important, you know, and I'm glad that Spirit is, um, that the Holy Spirit is revealing these things to you so you'll know how to love this person you know in a in a healthy way this person is a human being they're not a possession because i feel like that's what happened these people got really possessive and treated her or him like a prized possession so that will help you also to understand this person where they're coming from and how to love them in a healthy safe way you know that'll be comfortable for them um, I feel like it's just boundaries, right? Love, respect is boundaries. You can't say you respect someone if you don't, um, you can't say you love someone if you don't respect their boundaries. Love is boundaries is what I was trying to say. Because if you overstep someone's boundaries and you treat them like a possession, it's like, do you even acknowledge that this is a human being, you know, with their own feelings, wishes, and desires? Yeah, because I feel like what happened is these people loved this Queen of Cups, but then when the Queen of Cups decided to do something that they didn't approve of, it turned from love to hatred. I feel like that's what happened here, like a wicked obsession, you know? It, it, it turned into something that feels like if I can't have you, no one can. That, that's, what it, that's what it feels like. Um, but, you know, you have the Temperance and the Six of Pentacles. So the Temperance, um, the temperance talks about peace alignment, contentment, harmony. I do feel like the two of you are soulmates. I do strongly feel that. Um, that's why you guys tend to mirror each other a little bit. I was seeing that too. But mirror each other in a good, positive way, right? Not that toxic runner chaser stuff. <laughs> but, um, you know, the temperance, this may even be your other half or the temperance here. This person, sometimes when it comes to love readings, I can see the temperance as a companionship card. It could say that this person is going to be a very good companion for you. That both of you are going to balance each other out very well. Um this is someone who is very, you see how the angel's pouring into two cups? The queen of cups is known to be very emotionally balanced, very healthy, someone who knows how to give and receive love. But the problem is, in the past, they were dealing with people who didn't know how to, how to give and receive love. They were dealing with people who just wanted to take and take and take. And you're showing up as an empress. So I'm sure the empress is already very very loving and nurturing and empathetic. So I feel like the two of you are just going to just complement each other so well. I truly believe that the two of you are each other's other halves. Um, this is someone who will pour into you just as much as you pour into them. This person is a giver. And I know you are too because the empress is here. So the empress doesn't just take care of take care of themselves, but they also take care of other people. And the Queen of Cups is a Six of Pentacles, someone who is a giver, someone who's very charitable. Excuse me, the Six of Pentacles also talks about that equal give and take, right? That reciprocity, getting what you put in. So I feel like it's, this is definitely confirmation that it's going to be a well-balanced um, connection. And even on the back of the deck is the Hierophant. Now, the Hierophant is a very symbolic card. It's a big uh, marriage card. So there is a potential here for marriage. Um, the Hierophant is very powerful and influential. The two of you could honestly be a Hierophant. Just very powerful and influential people who, tends to, who tend to guide others, inspire others, counsel others, advise others. People look up to the look up to the two of you 
and it's because of the way you live you live your life but also the two of you may have prominent positions um maybe the both of you are very influential um you know in the community or your, your job position or whatever you do as a career as well so there's many ways that we can we can take this but the hierophant is a big marriage card another way that i see the hierophant for me as a reader when it comes to love and the hierophant comes out it could discern okay when you meet this person or the more you get to know this person um, it could represent higher level soulmates Okay, the Hierophant, it's a godly card. Sometimes it could literally even represent God or a person of God. Um, that's why they're higher up and these two people are clearly under submission and looking up to this person. Another way when it comes to higher level soulmates, if the Hierophant card comes out, I see it as two people being brought together by the Most High, the Divine. Okay, um, so this could easily be a divine connection. Maybe the two of you do have a divine purpose. And that's why the, the, the Most High has brought the both of you together, okay? So this is very beautiful. Let me see, are there any messages, other messages before I end the reading? Wow, go for it. <laughs> Literally, go for it, the chariot. <laughs> go for it is what is what the Holy Spirit is saying. Um you know, the star card, it talks about wish fulfillment. It talks about prayers being heard and answered, wishes being granted. It talks about having hope and faith. The page of wands. So pages are all about communication and messages and news. The page of wands could represent a good idea or it could represent a good, uh, a good news that you'll receive. I feel like the main character here is about to take a leap of faith towards a new person, place, or thing that they see as their brand new beginning, their brand new emotionally fulfilling beginning. And, you know, the star card is saying, do it, right? Um, your wish will be fulfilled. If you have the page of wands, I feel like the main character here has a good idea about a person, place, or thing that they want to pursue. And if they pursue it, good news will be returned to them and go for it the chariot literally represents forward movement moving forward victoriously determinedly and yeah go for it all right <laughs> whosoever you are this is a beautiful uh connection here so i'm gonna end the reading here thank you guys so very much for your support thank you for tuning in um to my new subscribers thank you guys so much for joining us and if you enjoyed this reading, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to support the channel. Um, also, if you're interested in connecting with me more, um, definitely check out the description box. All of my information will be in the description box and in the description box only so that you can know that it's me. Unfortunately, you know, there are scammers that are targeting the tarot card reading community and they like to impersonate tarot card readers. So please know that you can only find my information in the description box sometimes scammers will even pretend to be me and, and reply to people's comments please just ignore it or report it um while i don't do i don't do uh private readings okay but there are many ways that you can connect with me if you visit my website you can email me um you can submit a prayer request where you share with me whatever you feel comfortable with sharing with me and i'll keep you in my prayers you can even make a donation if you want to support the channel more um i'm going to start doing um it's going to be done spontaneously but i'm going to start doing live readings okay um, so definitely keep an eye out on the community the community post because that's where I will be putting the link to access live readings with me. Um, I know a lot of people were saying, Dream, you don't do private readings, but I have a question. I want your insight on things. So I'm going to start doing them, but it's going to be spontaneously. And um, it's really going to be for my subscribers. So when I do it, I will... I will um, I will share it with everyone on the community post, okay? Um, what else, what else, what else? I think that's pretty much all, you guys. Um, like I said, all my information, it's gonna be in the description box and nowhere else. I will never reach out to you for your money. Please be careful, these scammers are getting really crafty. 
But thank you guys so very much. Please take care and many blessings to you.